With over 400 miles of coastline, more than any other county in the UK, Cornwall is surrounded by the sea. Our seas are home to a wide variety of fish, such as mackerel and cod, and shellfish, such as lobsters, mussels and crabs. Fishing boats work out of various harbours. They range from very big boats, which travel many miles out to sea to fish, down to much smaller boats, which stay close to the shore. Once the fish are caught and landed on the boat, they are gutted, washed and prepared straight away. This all happens on board the boat, ready to be sold as soon as they return their catch to the harbour. The boat's crew live on board for several days at a time, so they need to take lots of food, drink and supplies with them. The boat has to be able to travel quite long distances away from harbour, so it needs plenty of fuel. It's now time to unload the fish. The fish is packed into ice to keep it fresh and cold. The crane lifts the fish out of the bottom of the boat and onto the truck. Once all of the fish has been unloaded from the boat, the fish is sold at an auction and then transported all over the country and overseas. Cornish fish is amongst some of the best in the world. Why not see how many different varieties of fish you can spot when you next visit the supermarket or fishmonger? A fishmonger is the name of someone who specialises in selling fish and shellfish. Lots of fish is also eaten deep fried in batter. You'll find it at a fish and chip shop. Fillets of fish are dipped in flour. They then get put into batter, which is made from flour, eggs and milk before being cooked in hot oil. Fish doesn't only come from the salt water of the sea, but it's also farmed in fresh water in specially built ponds. These are often situated in valleys, as they need a good supply of fresh running water from streams. There's two varieties of trout that are usually farmed. These are called brown trout and rainbow trout. The rainbow trout get their name from the beautiful coloured scales. The young trout are carefully looked after and soon grow into large adult fish. They can weigh over 4 kilograms once they're fully grown. The farmer catches them in nets to check how they are growing and to sort them into different sizes. Small ones are then put back in the ponds to be able to grow more, and those that are ready to be eaten are sold. Lobsters can have up to a hundred thousand babies at a time. The eggs stay under the tail of the female lobster for 10 to 11 months before swimming away. In the wild, only a small number of these babies will grow into full-size lobsters. Here at the National Lobster Hatchery at Padstow, the baby lobsters are safe from predators that might eat them. The babies are kept in individual boxes in trays. First, they have to be caught with a net.
Next, a special pipette is used to pick just one baby up at a time to be put in their own part of the tray. The trays are then stacked up and kept in seawater. Gradually, the lobsters grow and they are then released into the sea when they are three months old. This is done to help increase the number of lobsters in our seas. Mussels grow naturally on rocks around our coast, but are also farmed in places such as the beautiful Camel Estuary in Cornwall. Here the mussels are being harvested from the riverbed. Tiny baby mussels are laid on the riverbed and can take two years to grow to the full size when they can be eaten. Once harvested, the mussels are sorted and those not large enough to eat are returned to the water to continue to grow. They are male and female, with the males having a paler flesh and the females are more orange in colour. Oysters are also grown in Cornish waters. Tiny oyster seed arrive from a hatchery and are then grown in mesh bags in the water until they are big enough to eat. They can take up to two years to fully grow. When they are harvested, the oysters are purified in clean water before being sold. Opening an oyster needs skill and a small sharp knife. They can be eaten raw or cooked in various ways.